How you doing? This is the ghost of Brooklyn here. I want to take a minute to show you the ghost triad pickup that's in uh, all of these acoustic guitars behind me. It's a simple pickup. It's new. I just came up with this idea. Uh, although uh, bottle caps have been used forever uh, uh, in American um, uh, instrument uh, pickup making. But I've taken it to a new level. You see there's three. It's the Ghost Triad. Uh, there's three beer caps. And they're all individually wired into a single wire. It's a parallel circuit. And then it runs into whatever you want, either a socket, a quarter-inch socket. I like the socket better than the end pin jack. I'll tell you why. The socket, first of all, it's easier to put in. The end pin jack's pain in the ass. Sometimes you, you know, if you're gonna, do, I can do it, but if you're gonna do it on your own, you're better off with the socket. It's a simple quarter-inch uh, hole. You take a little a drill, or you could actually take a a bit. You know, you could take a, you could take one of these things. This is a uh, a reamer, and uh, very gently start with a screw and then very gently put a hole uh, in the guitar where it's supposed to be. Uh, but anyway, we'll talk about that on another video. What I want to tell you about is the um, is the pickup itself. So what you have is, uh, I mean, it looks it's a simple design. It's basically um, they're popsicle sticks. They're made out of birch wood, and they work beautifully for uh, what we're doing here. So you have a piece of birch wood and three bottle caps at random. Doesn't matter what kind of bottle caps they are; they could be Heineken or <laughs> Miller, <laughs> whatever, whatever bottle cap you can you can get your hands on um, is basically how we did it. And uh, they they really sound great. That's the that's the whole thing. There's a couple of videos already up that you can listen to it. But again, I just want to describe what what's going on here. So you have um, you know you you notice right in between the pickup and the lower uh, piece of wood, right? There's a uh, a gap. Only the pickup is only touching in the center of the cap. So it's cleverly designed because what happens sometimes with bottle caps is that if you rig them and then you just, you, you see, I've seen videos on YouTube where they say just, you know, take hot glue and glue it into the, onto the surface of the, of the inside of the guitar. It's going to sound like shit. Trust me. It's going to sound like shit. I, this is the right way to do it. And I did it for you. It's not, it takes a while to, to put them together, but. So, uh, and then what you're going to do is, you, you, you see essentially there's one piece of wood in the, mid in the middle. You're not going to glue the whole damn thing onto the guitar. You're going to find the, the sweet spot, the G spot, if you will. Okay? Once you find that spot, you take a little glue, and you, you take this thing in your hands, and you go into the hole, and you bang, you put it in there, and it's, and this... You pick which way you want it to come out, either the socket, quarter-inch socket, or the end pin jack. End pin jack goes through the whole um, uh, end pin, the not the end pin. I don't know what it's called, but it's a very th the very thick part of the uh, wood in the guitar at the end. Right, so you need you know you need a half-inch drill to get through it, whereas the the other way it's fairly easy. To get through the side of a guitar with a with a even even by hand with a drill with, with either a reamer or you can if you don't have a drill you can actually get a get a half inch bit borrow it from somebody and uh, you know you can literally screw it in and it goes right through. Anyway, so what you have um, you go down a little deeper, take another a deeper look and. Uh, it's basically what you have is uh, piezo electronics. There's a, a piezo pickup, piezo pickup, piezo pickup. Three separate uh, pickups embedded inside the hot glue. So that's basically what it is. And uh, you know, and that's the, you got like a little, a 
new kind of uh, thing where I, you join all of the uh, wires are joined under there so there's no shorts nothing is exposed so actually I'm using a long cable and uh, you could see that there's there's shielding in there there's a little bit of uh, shielding from the red and the black wire and uh, it, it's very simple to do if you look this is how it this is uh, an example of uh, the the end pin the socket not the end pin the socket and you could see it's basically I came up with this idea of uh, it's an actual guitar pick and uh, we use it as a washer so that prevent it keeps the a, a little takes a little bit of the tension from putting the plug in and pulling the plug out and uh, Got some hot glue there. There's no shorting going on. I was thinking it's solid too. You say, oh, it's it's just a bunch of sticks holding together. This thing is solid. It's not going to fall apart. This thing is good. Good. This will last as long as your guitar. As long as you put it in there right, and it's inside the guitar. It's not going to get knocked around. So this is a permanent part of your guitar. Now you're only gluing it at this little piece here. It's about a square inch. So if you decide that you don't want the guitar, you don't want the pickup in that guitar, you want to move it to another guitar, you want to take it out, whatever, it's not, it's not that hard to, to uh, get these out, right? Because it's only glued in one little spot, right? So there's a couple of ways of doing it. One, you could you take like a spatula and you heat it up and you go into the guitar and you just get right under there and it comes right... It, it doesn't come right off because if it came right off, then it'll be falling off while you're playing. But it, you you could get in there and you know before you know it, just and you get you could get it out. So uh, it is it's a it's we're calling it permanent installation, but you can um, you can definitely uh, you could definitely get it out and switch uh, switch guitars. So that's the Ghost Triad. That's my uh, first introduction. There's other videos up if you want to hear it. Um, again, don't try this at home. <laughs> you know, I know what you're thinking. You say, "Oh, it's just a bunch of bottle caps. I'll go out and get some bottle caps and some some sticks, and I'll make my own." Good luck, Hoss, because it's not it's not that easy. It's hard. It's a hard uh, process to get it right, and uh, every Every move is is was carefully figured out, and they, they sit. That's why they sound really good. So this is a good pickup. I put this pickup against any pickup on the market, whatever the price is. I don't know. I'm not saying that you know Seymour Duncan and I used the Woody in an acoustic guitar for for years until I came up with this idea. So uh, there's a lot of you know quality products uh, on the market. This is handmade. They're made one one at a time. There's not there's no machines here. I I don't even you know really own any power tools. It's all done by hand. And uh, you know there's a couple of glue guns, soldering, and um, you know some wire splicers. <laughs> all right. So so enjoy the pickup. If you I'll, I'll keep putting up more videos as we go along. Uh, Definitely one on um, how to install the damn thing, which can be complicated, but it's also it's also fairly easy if you just uh, pay attention. You test it from the outside of the guitar using a little piece of putty. Okay, so until the next time, thank you for watching.